never happens. Um, let's read this first problem. Read with your eyes while I read out loud. Mary sews six scarves together to make a banner. Each scarf is 40 inches long. How many inches long is the banner? So let's think about that question for a second. She's got six scarves that she's putting together to make a banner that's 40 inches long. You know, each scarf is 40 inches long. How long is the banner? So first we need to think, what is our basic fact here? Everybody think about that. What is our basic fact, guys? Six, six times four. Six times four. Who knows what six times four is? Abby? Six times four is 24. Do y'all agree with that? Yes. Yes. Six times four is 24. But we're not multiplying just six times four. What should we be multiplying here? Six, six times 40. 40. So next we need to think four times 10 is 40. So we need to multiply our product by 10 also. What is 24 times 10? 240. 240. So how long is that banner? 240 inches long. Inches. Very good. Now I'm going to take this invisibility cloak and run in there, unplug that smart board. These kids will never learn. All right, are y'all ready for problem four? Technology, we don't we don't really understand it as much as we can with 
iPad with iPads. It, they help us learn because you don't have to wait for everybody. When we're doing a whole group lesson, you could just go on and finish, and you could go over them again and see if you could try to figure out a different way to do them. Well, I like because there's much of fun apps, and when I play those fun apps, it kind of makes me want to do something really fun. Um, I'm Shauna Tatterchuk, and my third grade class uses iPads all of the time in our classroom. We do use them in math for an independent rotation, doing the, the website uh, SumDog, which differentiates for the children uh, according to the the um, level that the child is working at. For instance, if they have not mastered their subtraction, it keeps throwing those those facts back until they, master, until they master them and then it moves them on. And I've got children working from addition all the way up through uh, multiplying with fractions in my third grade class. is an awesome friend and teacher. Um, I enjoy working with her every day. She's always looking for new ways to help her students um, make learning easier and fun um, and she is just great to teach with. Ms. Beisel is an awesome teacher. I work with her daily. She's compassionate, caring, concerned for the kids. She has a, a wonderful program for them and it's a pleasure to work with her. Ms. Basil is such an amazing person. She loves everyone and she supports anybody that needs it and you just always know you can count on her. Hi, I'm Sandra Beisel. I'm a resource teacher at Carrie Woods Elementary and this year I was um, selected as Carrie Woods Teacher of the Year. It was a really big honor. My family came and surprised me on the morning news to tell me that I had won Teacher of the Year and so that was really exciting. It's an honor to be chosen as Teacher of the Year. It's voted on by other teachers, so to be recognized by my peers um, for the job that I do is really rewarding. It means a lot to me. using a pencil and paper, but I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> All right, class, today we're going to take a quiz on the human body. There are going to be some different... Now I'll take this invisibility cloak, go in there, get their pencil and paper. These kids will never learn. Questions that pop up on the board, and you're going to write your answers...
question. Number 10, where are the phalanges found? Wrists and ankles, elbows and knees, fingers and toes. All right, great job. That's the end of our quiz. We didn't need any paper, did we? No. My favorite thing about the clickers is that they can help you learn easier and it's more interesting and it's a lot more fun and for me, I really don't like writing on paper. It sometimes hurts your hands and fingers and it's just not my favorite thing to do, so clickers are a lot more better. It's just basically the same thing as paper. As you read and learn, you read on it as the same thing, so I think it does help you learn a lot. Help you learn because our teacher could, our teacher could make, like give, give us the question in the computer and then we could answer it in our clickers. I've used clickers in my classroom several times, uh, whether it be for formative or summative assessments. Uh, I've used them with students on quizzes on units that we've done, taking that data and put it into a graph form so that they can see how they perform in comparison to one another or in comparison to other classes. We use that to analyze different questions that they may have had issues with, content that they, that they didn't uh, get the first time, so I can go back and do reteaching. All right, I really like using technology in the classroom because it's just more engaging for the kids. They're generally, generally more apt to take a test on a clicker or an iPad than they would just be to use the traditional paper pencil method. Um, and it's just a lot more fun and I feel like it's preparing the kids to participate in the digital world and using new technologies and being able to adapt to those new technologies. Alright, how did everybody like using the clickers? Clickers are awesome! Uh, pickles. These kids have outsmarted me again, no but I'll be back. <laughs>